case, so Windows has done some funky things with my webcam, so I actually have to use a different app for this now, so let me know how the picture looks different. Dark Moon Rising. Okay. The box art actually looked interesting. It had like a wolf's head with like an arm coming through it. I'm like, that looks pretty cool. And it's got uh, oh, it's, it's Roberts. It's, so, so Julia's brother. And I was like, you know, he's normally pretty good in these films. And I can't tell if this film is either a really badly done film or if it's one of the most amazing parodies ever. A lot of things happen when the screen is absolutely black. So I have no idea what was going on quite frequently while watching this film. This is like, oh, the horror scene and Jeff Black. If I wouldn't have seen the werewolves on the front, I might not have thought it had to do with werewolves. Except for the fact that when they show the kids at school, they mentioned hunting lichens. But the end of the film has a really bad, like, kung fu aspect to it. When he him, he's like, my venom strike will kill you. But he's not looking like a werewolf, and it's just some body paint. And there's scenes where you can tell they had a blue screen. They're like, we're going to use this blue screen for really heavily over-the-top, cheesy, trying to be like metaphysical sort of dialogue. It's just horrible. So if it's a serious film, man, this film is atrocious. If it's designed to be a really super in-depth parody of things like Twilight and things like that, where they try to take a really bizarre over-the-top concept and play it really serious, then it's beautiful. Beyond that, this is a not watch.